allow, fair enough, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and do my people their transgression, and the house of Jacob their sin. Shalom, shalom, Israel. Well, again, I want to start off by giving our praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Hashashai, Baha Hashem, Hashashai. The honor to the elders and apostles of the hillstone, the peace of their gates, and be blessed. All right. So today's lesson is going to be on the downfall of Babylon. Okay. And this is going to be a downfall of Babylon. All right. This disarray, this euphoric memory for all these people is going to be just that, a memory, all right? You know, it's not going to be so euphoric, but at the end of the day, you know, the world's going to strike you down with memories. All right, but this is in Isaiah 58, verse 1. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, all right? So we're not sparing these words, all right? We're lifting up our voice like a trumpet, okay? You know, to all these people, you know, we're telling them that they, the so-called Negro, Latino, the Native Americans, they're the so-called people of the Lord. Or should I say, they are the people of the Lord. But their so-called names are Negro, Latino, the Native Americans. All right? Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Okay, a trumpet is loud. All right, you ever hear a band when they play a trumpet? All right, they're loud. You know, they, they're strong and they're loud. doing, okay, he's telling you that you're going off, you know, serving these false powers, all right, serving these false idols, all right, we're telling you you're going off, okay, he had taken me to David and delight to know my ways as a nation that did righteously and forsook not the ordinance power. They have for me the ordinance of justice. They take diligence in approaching the power. Alright? So, you know, we're supposed to be diligent in seeking the Lord daily, you know, asking for forgiveness, you know, repentance. You know, and our people are just not doing that. You know? Our people are just not doing that. And, you know, it's fine. going on. All right. Right here is a, look at that, right here is a caption right here. It says, well it's backwards, but it says, no mercy for Babylon.
nations have drunk it of the wine, therefore the nations are mad. Right. So, you know, Babylon has been feeding all these nations a bunch of BS. <coughs> a bunch of nonsense. Babylon just proves that that America has broken over 500 treaties with the uh, with the um, so-called Native Americans out there, right? Verse eight: Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her sake atone for her pain? If so. have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her, and let her go every one into his own country, for her judgment reaches from the heavens, and is lifted up even to the skies. Alright? So, you know, this place can't be healed, man. You know, you go back and you look at the, uh, at the times of old, you know, you see our people, you know, now we are here at us like we're crazy. You know, well, really, we're just trying to help. <laughs> you know? We go out here in different parts, you know, in different places. You know, we see if people walk past us, they might not say nothing, but they think, hey, you know what I mean, man, I still do over there. You know, we see it. You know, about us, man, we know, you know, through visions, you know, I had dreams of this place burning, man. You know, I had dreams of this place going down. You know, back five years ago, you know, they were preaching about COVID-19. That shit happened. You know, they were saying about MPOC. All this shit happened, man. And, you know, people walk around there and think you're crazy, man. Don't let it bother you. You know, because at the end of the day, this place going down. Bingo, three and one. Woe to the bloody city. It is. It is a pool of lies and robbers. The prey departeth not. Right. What was this place built on? What is the backbone of this place? How did it get? How did it get Texas, California, and Texas on down? You see the history, right? You know there was in there was that war with the country of Mexico for the sake of getting more land. And what happened in Mexico? Mexico became a uh, you know corrupt uh, country. That's why, that's why my parents fled, fled from Mexico to here, to get a better life here. You know, they got the Native American land by what? By rape, by robbery. Right, I'm going to jump down to verse 4. Because of the multitude of the whoredom of the well-favored harlot. Who's that harlot? Right, it's talking about Babylon. The mistress of witchcraft that selleth nations through her whoredom and families through her witchcraft. Behold, I am against thee. I am against thee, saith the Lord of hosts. So the Lord is saying he's against this place. The Lord is saying that. And I will discover that and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, and I will hew the scene the nations thy nakedness, and the kingdom thy shame. Right, the Lord is gonna just the Lord is gonna make this place uh what's that word? Naked, right? The Lord's gonna make this place naked. He's gonna, he's gonna reveal unto me the secrets of this place. Alright, he's gonna reveal the, the real fucking shady shit this place done did. Alright. And I will cast abominable filth unto thee and make thy Vile, I will set thee as a gazel stock, and it shall come to pass that all they that look upon thee shall flee from thee, say of mine as laid waste, whom will be bemoan her when thou like seek counsel for thee. Alright, so that's pretty much the point up here. <coughs> that's pretty much the lesson. Place gonna burn, and what 
that. I'm gonna get my phrase all done. Get the hell up.